Hello, I'm Wayne Martin, president of Eastern Exterior Wall Systems. We at Eastern bring over four decades of extensive experience in prefabricated exterior wall systems. Over those years, we've learned that the best way to deliver our products and services is through close collaboration with project design, construction, and ownership teams. Our mission in delivering those products and services is to focus on quality, innovation, and on-time performance. Two of our recent projects presented special challenges. On the Cornell project, we had to develop and fabricate details that met Passive House standards. Passive House is a rigorous international standard for energy efficiency. At the time of its certification, Cornell was the world's tallest Passive House building. What set Cornell apart was the, the uh, Passive House. It was the, our first Passive House job that we've done, um, which really included a lot of the R value part of the building itself, the panel. We built the frames and then they got on the floor and then there was a lot of insulation, a lot of insulation. Most of our panels have insulation on the face. Uh, then we stood the panels up, put the windows in, put all the facade on that we had to put on, and then we had to stuff the back of the panels yet, the, the cavities, the stud cavities, with more insulation. There was quite a bit. At some spots, there's 11 inches of, of uh, insulation. One of the things on the Cornell project was the attention to detail that we had to keep our eyes on and making sure that the building didn't leak. One of the things that was so great about Cornell was the amount of QC we had that as each process was done we had somebody overseeing each area and um, as it got to me with the quality control we knew that our panels would fit in place quite easily because all the other processes have been checked along the way. The R value was um, one thing that we had to really pay attention to making sure that everything was caulked along the way and and that everything was sealed along the way so that as it came time to stand the panels up and put windows in and then stuff the back of the panels with insulation as well that everything was according to specs. The process, the way that things get wrapped with rubber and caulked, it's water is always the enemy is what they say. So our, our idea is obviously to keep the enemy out and that's what we look to be successful in. The biggest issues we had was making the insulation in the back of the panels fit that tight that there wasn't any voids. I mean, we were cutting insulation like we were putting trim on panels. It was quite a challenge just to get it to fit tight. I remember the first meeting I attended uh, for the Cornell project and the, one of the owner's principals came in and spoke to us about Passive House. And I had heard the term before at that point, but I wasn't real familiar with it. And this guy was so excited because he was telling us that we were going to really uh, go down in the history books because we were going to build the largest, tallest, passive house building in the world. And I found out over the months following that it was actually a pretty complicated uh, and, and uh, technically challenging task. Being a passive house building is probably going to save over 70 percent of the energy cost as compared to a similar type building in New York City. Allow us to help you on your next building project. Please look for us on the web or give us a call and we'll be happy to help.